guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for a video, I'm going to talk about what I keep on my duty belt. <laughs> Finally, I know this has been a long awaited video. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy. <laughs> haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave and if you like these kind of videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you have any requests for upcoming videos leave them in the comments down below let's jump into what i keep on my duty belt so first i'm going to show you the duty belt laying down so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like this is what my duty belt looks like when it's laid out on the floor starting over on the left side so this is the clasp and then the silver bar on the other side of the belt is what goes into here so i will show you guys all of that once i put the belt on these are my hinged handcuffs that i keep right here it's just on a little loop and you just press this down and this is my taser carrier I don't take the tasers home because we are to sign them out once we get to work. Our department doesn't give us our own tasers. Some departments do, but ours does not. This is one option on how you can carry your radio. Your radio is super important. It's your lifeline. It comes in a pouch and then there's a metal circle on the back that slides into here and then you can put the cord around your shoulder or wherever just to clip it onto your uniform. I like to carry it in my vest right now, so this is just one option. This is where I keep my flashlight. The one that I have right now is Streamlight. I like that you can charge it in the vehicle or while you're inside the office. This is a, another set of handcuffs. I definitely recommend having two on you at all times because you never know. This is where I keep my vinyl gloves. I also keep a pair of fabricated gloves on me when I go to work. A lot of times when you're working with people, they need gloves and sometimes they don't have theirs. So it's nice to just carry other things for other people in case your partner or whoever needs it. And I use these a lot. My department actually has boxes of these kind of gloves. I can just refill them whenever I need to. This is the pepper spray. It just comes in like a little holder right there. We use Vexor. It freaking hurts. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I deemed this clear and safe before I started this video because I don't want a loaded weapon while I'm doing this kind of video. It's just not safe. But this is my gun and the holder. I need to get a new one because this one's all scratched to hell from the seatbelt. This is where I keep like extra keys, extra handcuff key, and my hard drive for when I have to do reports. I just keep that right there in a little key holder so that it doesn't make a lot of noise. These are where I keep my mags. As you can see they're in there and then this is the class that I was talking about so as you can see there's this metal bar that metal bar goes into these two clasps and that's how you hold the duty belt together everyone's duty belt kind of varies but we also carry a lot of things in our outside carrier vest so that that's always nice and then these are what the keepers look like so before you put on your duty belt, you want to make sure that you have some kind of belt underneath your duty belt. Now, when I first started, <laughs> I'm such a dork, I didn't know this. I always wondered how police officers keep their duty belts up. And then when I first got into the process, everyone was like, oh, you need a belt under there. And I was like, huh? You do need a belt to go into your belt loops prior to putting your belt on. Now the one that I'm using right now is just a Velcro type of belt because I find that when you use a belt with a buckle on it already, it's too much because you do have the clasp and the buckle on the actual duty belt. So it just looks really, really bad. It looks like you're kind of a cop from a movie and we don't wanna look like that. You wanna try to look as polished and professional as you can. I like the Velcro belts because you can barely tell that it's there. So I'm just gonna put that through my belt loops. As you can see, the under belt is on. One side has what looks like little clasps right here. That's gonna go the left side. Then this other side which looks kind of like a Santa Claus belt. 
that has this little bar right here. Usually take it right here, right before the clasps, and then I hang on to the actual belt. And then you just connect those two together. Hopefully you guys can see this. You see how it's connected together? So then it's not gonna go anywhere. But you still need your keepers. That's what it's gonna look like when you first put it together. Just like that. You wanna make sure your gig line is, <laughs> is lined up. So that means that this front bar is gonna be lined up with your fly line, your zipper line, whatever you wanna call it. So I always make sure that that's lined up. And we're gonna go into the belt keepers. These are super important. I know that nowadays they make duty belts with just Velcro on them, but I definitely would not trust that. So the keepers are important because you gotta keep your belt up and if you get into a scuffle with someone, your belt's not gonna fall off, which that would be devastating. So you can place these wherever you want. I like to place one in the front, on the side here, right in between my mag pouch and these extra key holder. This is when you can start to move everything where you want it to. I like to place a keeper in the back here. Also want to place one near your duty weapon. I place one right behind. And by the way, when you put these keepers on, you're going through your underbelt and then over your duty belt. You see how it's over it? As you can see, this is where everything sits on me. Now, when you go through the phase two, which is the firearms training, you practice where everything is. So keep in mind, everyone's duty belt is a little bit different, but set it up the way that you feel comfortable. This I've had for four years like this, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Some people are like, how can you keep your pepper spray in the back? I don't know, I just know that it's there. I can reach for it whenever I need it, and bada boom. Let's kind of talk about where everything is and where it's placed. Obviously the mags are in the front. When I first started, I actually had my gun on this side because I'm left-handed, but right eye dominant. So throughout the whole phase two, that's why I struggled because I wasn't getting it on the left side. So once I switched over to the right side, I finally was able to shoot better. And so that's where it has stayed. Obviously I just grab with my left hand for the mags and it works out perfectly fine. This is my extra set of handcuffs, so I just push that down, which is super easy. It's not hard. Boop! You wanna be able to lock the handcuffs after you put these on so that they don't get tighter on the suspect's wrist. So you see how the handcuff keyhole is not facing you? It's facing me, which they're located right there. So when I go to handcuff, I just am able to lock it really quick. As far as females going through the academy, I recommend hinged cuffs. That's what these are. These are considered hinged cuffs. It's a lot easier for females to hang on to these while handcuffing someone. It's easier to grab onto. This is where I keep my taser. I can't bring that home. We have to sign one out before we get into service, so we actually share tasers. That's why that's empty, but that's where it goes. I have my flashlight. I like this flashlight. You can charge it. I have a little charger in the car, which I find super convenient. I definitely recommend getting flashlights that you can charge because you never know when they're gonna die. I have my extra handcuffs. Behind that, I have my gloves. Sometimes I don't wanna use my fabricated ones or people that I'm on scene with, they need gloves. Coming over, this is the pepper spray. And back to this side, this is my duty weapon. I keep that right here. Here is just my extra keys. Key holder because I don't like when it's noisy. That is what I keep on my duty belt. I don't want to show the gun because YouTube's pretty strict with policies nowadays. The vest carrier that I have right now at work carries a decent amount of stuff and I was able to put my baton in my vest. I was able to put my radio in my vest. So it takes off some of the weight on your hips because let me tell you, after working four years as a cop already, my leg goes numb, my hip starts to hurt. It's insane because of the wear and tear of the belt and the vest because both of those combined are very heavy. As far as the vest goes, if you guys would like to see what I keep in my police vest, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that because there are a lot of other things that I keep in my vest as well. And it's interesting to see 
the police vests because the new ones that they came out with they have like handcuff pouches in the back which i thought were pretty interesting if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave this video i want to have another giveaway once we hit 10,000 subscribers and i want this giveaway to be big maybe like an electronic or something i don't know once we get closer to that point i'll ask you guys ideas of what you want me to give away for the 10,000 subscriber mark thank you so much for watching this video you guys until next time i will talk to you guys later